Hiya, Ian Dixon here, how are you today? Interesting video today, it's just gonna be four or five minutes tops. Um, if you are somebody that is thinking about starting a business, or if you are somebody that wants to run a business but has little or no uh, working capital, I'm gonna share with you five ways in which you could start a business with little or no money. So I've written five down. Um, if that's of interest to you, you're in the right place. Um, if you would like to know what these five uh, business startup ideas are with little or no money, uh, then I'm going to share with them, share them with you now. Please do help me out with a subscribe and ding the bell if you'd like to find out uh, when we're uploading more videos. Um, and uh, without further ado, let's go into them. So the first one is to be a content provider. So is to uh, write articles, uh, copy. Um, uh, uh, blogs, um, write articles for newspapers um, or magazines or editorials for yourself or for other people. So uh, providing content, we live in, a, in the information age and if you are somebody that either has knowledge of or is interested in going and collecting knowledge of and then putting that together in content packages, then there are lots of platforms now where you can offer those services doesn't cost you a bean it just costs you time and you can charge for that so so the first one is to be a content provider the second one is to make things out of things so um, uh, you know recycling up and uh, or breaking things down and turning them into other things um, buying or collecting things for nothing and and selling them on or um, actually making things out of you know um, like ho like the hobby crafts you know going and buying uh, bits and pieces and, and creating something of a much greater value than the cost of the bits that you're buying so uh, but seeing this a lot now when I'm out networking people that are um, refurbishing old items and turning them into something uh, of, of a much higher value and then how you position that product to sell it on is where the money's at so so the the second one is to create things rather than um, uh, you know buying in big heavy uh, stock items that are going to cost you a lot of money um, the next one is kind of interesting is what I call in-home services so uh, things like cleaning um, babysitting dog walking what else did I write down here house sitting decorating de um, gardening uh, anything that is in-home services you don't need an office you come to them uh, keeps your cost down, uh, overhead's very low, uh, in-home services is another, that's number three. Um, number, I've got to concentrate on the time, number four is to create a repair-based business. Could be repairing anything. The only cost to you uh, from an outlay perspective, which you get back anyway, is the cost of parts. So your classic, of course, is your car repairs, but um, I could think of gazillion uh, different things that you could repair. So uh, we live in the throwaway age, but there are still there is still very much a generation of people that don't want to throw things away, uh, or uh, whether that be sentimental value, a high value, um, or just the fact that from an ecological perspective, they don't want to throw something away. So. Uh, yeah, I've worked with a lot of businesses that are in the repair industry and uh, repairing things actually is, is becoming more of a niche market actually. Uh, but certainly, uh, number four, it's certainly one that uh, is a low uh, overhead business to start. So repairing items, number four. And then uh, number five is, the, is my industry. So coaching, consulting, training, uh, the, the provision of a skill set to, uh, you know, to, to pass on to others, to help them uh, get to wherever they want to go. Mentoring, coaching, consulting, training. So again, um, uh, low cost ongoing, low overhead ongoing. Uh, for me uh, personally, there was a high cost uh, initially uh, from a training perspective, like a very high cost. Uh, I, there was a choice, you know, I work in an unregulated industry and wanted to make sure that I had plenty of um, 
you know, the, the skills and uh, qualities required to be able to deliver this service to the highest of, of my ability. So, but there are certainly uh, entry points that don't have to be business coaching. There's lots of different types of coaching, consultant training that you could provide that has a very low entry point. And as I say, the ongoing cost from a, a working capital perspective is actually very low. So again, it's one of these businesses of, often where you go to the client rather than the client come to you. So there you go. So there was five, five low cost uh, working capital businesses. If you're thinking about starting a business, thinking about um, uh, uh, changing uh, what it is that you do and you, you don't have a lot of working capital you can be a content provider you can create things out of old things uh, you can offer in-home services um, uh, like cleaning babysitting dog walking house sitting decorating that just to name a few um, uh, repair based businesses and then uh, the provision of consulting coaching training mentoring that's a straight out exchange of knowledge and expertise um, to those that need or want it. Hope you found that useful. Uh, please do give us a click on the subscribe button. We are literally six minutes in. There's another five minute video for you. Uh, hope you found that useful. Uh, please do uh, ding the bell if you'd like to be notified when we are uploading more videos. There's going to be over 300 videos this year, um, all business related. Uh, business Talk is the place if you want to learn about anything relating, relating to business. So five great ways to start a business in 2020 with little or no working capital. Hope you found that useful. We'll catch up with you on the next video. Bye for now.